this is actually a really good comment. Um, if you were to click the comment, it's going to take you back to a video response. But to just go briefly from the beginning, I made a video of how do you get the contact information of kids who are becoming friends with your kids at social events and whatnot. And then I made a follow up video where some people suggested joining like a sports team, some type of club that meets every week mainly in like the sporting competition genre. And so this response is in response to, my kids don't have any interest in joining any, any you know, leagues, sports, Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, dance, whatever. They don't have an interest in that right now. There was a, a part two to her comment of like, if my kids are wondering why they don't have friends, you need to talk to them about why they don't. Um, and you should always be having conversations with your kids, especially if you're allowing them to make a decision and the conversation should be, well, this, these are the ramifications of your decision. And we do that all the time. We are a family who is really big on being upfront, full disclosure, and with explanations and reasons and proof to back up why we're making this, the decisions we're making. And that also goes for if we're allowing our kids to make their decisions for themselves, they have to tell us why they're making that decision. And if it's a decision that is like, you know, non-negotiable, mom and dad make that decision, we've made that choice for them, we fully explain why we're deciding what we're deciding on. My kids aren't questioning why they don't have like close friends at the moment to have like play dates with. Um, I think because we are so involved in activities over the summer and then on the weekends during the school year that they're not left wanting in that way. But there is a little frustration where they're unable to see the people they are meeting outside of the activities or stay in communication through like FaceTime or text. That's more so where the frustration is right now. Now, when we have presented to them the opportunity to join baseball, basketball, soccer, gymnastics, dance, group, you know, music lessons, whatever it may be, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, when we've said, hey, this is something that is available to you. Do you have an interest? And when they say no, we fully disclose what that no means. We also fully disclose what that yes would mean if they said yes. And then say, are you sure about your decision? And most of the time they are sure about their decision and they give their reason why they're saying no or yes. So if it is something that we are allowing them to decide, it is always a sit down discussion of what does your decision mean? You know, when I said, hey, homeschool groups meet really early in the morning and is that something you're interested in? Because if you are, we'll take dad to work so we can have the car and go do X, Y, Z. And they say no, because we enjoy doing our homeschool lessons in the morning. And I said, okay, that just means then we can't participate in this activity. Are you okay with that? And they say, yes, because we enjoy doing our homeschool lessons in the morning. And honestly, I think that's really mature of them. It's mainly my son who is nine. My daughter is in pre-K. She'll start kindergarten this upcoming school year. But I think that's pretty mature of him to know that he will get his lessons done and learn his best in the morning and that by joining a homeschool group activity, it's going to take that away. So I am kind of proud of him for coming up with that on his own. They also know their decision of no right now for sports teams and whatnot is not set in stone and they have every right to come to us and say, hey, we do wanna start looking into this. We might want to join this and then we go, let's figure it out. And if it's something we have to save up money for, we're upfront with that. And we go, okay, we might take, you know, a little time to join this because we have to save up a membership fee or a uniform fee. And we're also very upfront about that as well. 
but if it's something they want to do we will financially find the way but like I said we're not going to force them to partake in something they do not want to and um, yeah <laughs> But I just wanted to use this topic as a conversation starter to say, you know, I think it's really important where if you as a parent make a decision that you explain to your kids in age appropriate ways why you're making that decision and it's not a because I'm your parent and I said so. And then if your kids are making a decision that you are allowing them to fully make for themselves, talk to them about how to express why they're making that decision have them present that you know thought process they had to you and I think you'd be pretty surprised that their brains can come up with some valid reasons so yeah all right I just wanted to chat about this huh. I hope everyone is doing okay I know we're having some interesting times right now so I hope everyone's okay and I'll talk to you later. Bye.